Hey guys, thank you so much for the video for guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your Apple Watch Ultra for the very first time with your iPhone. Here I have iPhone 14 Pro that we're going to do a setup with, but in order to activate and set up your Apple Watch with the iPhone, your iPhone has to be at least iPhone 8 or later running iOS 16 or later version. So if you need to update your phone, simply go into your settings, general, software update and look to see if there's an update available for your iPhone as iOS 16 is only available with iPhone 8 or later and so you need at least iPhone 8. You can also check in the general about page to see the iOS version your iPhone is on here. I have iOS 16.5 that we're going to do the setup on and to set it up really simple first thing you want to do is go ahead and power on your Apple Watch. In order to do that you're going to press and hold this side button here until you see the Apple logo reappear. And then once it appears right there, you're going to let go of that button and wait for a moment. On your iPhone, you want to ensure that the Bluetooth from the top here is turned on or you can go into your settings and ensure that the Bluetooth setting is turned on as it will need in order to pair your Apple Watch. So as you can see here, it's powering on and also on your iPhone, you should locate the watch app as it will be helpful in order to set it up. And if you deleted the watch app, you can go to the App Store and Go ahead and download it. As you can see here, this menu should pop up. Now, if it doesn't, don't worry. You can simply watch, open up the watch app, and it's the same exact thing. So if you want to hit continue, all it does is basically goes ahead and opens up the Apple Watch app. And once it opens it up, you'll get this prompt to set up your Apple Watch. Now, you can set up for yourself or a family member. I'm going to click on myself here. And all it's going to ask you to hold the phone in front of the camera here so it can detect that. Uh, code here in order to begin the process to set it up. Now the next menu you get is if you want to restore from backups. If you backed up a previous Apple Watch on your iCloud account you can actually restore from that backup or you can set it up as new. So I'm going to set it up new here and then your wrist preference. You're going to choose left or right. I'm just going to keep it as is. So I'm going to continue basically which hand your Apple Watch is going to be. So if you're left or righty, you want to select the appropriate one. Now after that, as you can see here, it's connecting our Apple Watch. This should take a moment, as it says generally 10 to 15 seconds, but might be quicker. And we're going to wait till that completes. And one thing I recommend is making sure both your phone and Apple Watch is charged during this whole process. So as you can see your terms and condition, I'm going to hit agree, and then I'm going to hit continue here. So I hit agree here. Now what you'll need to do is enter your Apple ID password if you want it to link here. As you can see here, it will pick up your Apple ID that's already signed into you that watch. You can do that or you can skip that stuff, but highly recommend it in order to be able to do any of the service. I'm going to just enter my password here. And after you do that, you're going to simply want to hit sign in and it's going to begin the pairing process for me. Again, Apple ID is needed of course to do pretty much anything on your Apple Watch so you want to ensure that it's set up. Alrighty so as you can see here in real time how long that took and then the next thing you get is Apple Analytics if you want to share the data with Apple usually I don't but again personal preference. Now the next thing you want to do is add a create a passcode for it so that it's secure. You can add a long one or short one or you can simply shoot not to. So if you want to create one you can simply type one in here I'm just going to do super simple one but of course don't do what I'm doing. And as you can see here next thing it's going to ask you for location services if you want to enable it. Of course you want to enable it if you want to use things like maps and other services. Again personal preference so I'll just hit enable and it will ask you to enable it just like that or you can disable and come back later in the setting to enable as well. Again your personal preference but as you know in order to use services you'll need to turn that on that relies on location. Finally now the text size so as you can see here you can adjust the size of the text that you want on your Apple Watch as you see here you can make it really small or really big or leave it as is depends on how you want it you can always set it up later so I'm just gonna hit continue now Siri if you want to use Siri you will need to either um, use Siri here or don't Siri, don't use Siri so if you use Siri 
Uh, you just hit continue and optimize charging if you want to do that. You can hit continue. Shared settings. So if you want to share your settings between your iPhone, such as location services, find my Siri and analytics improvement, you can hit OK here. And then you want to put your personal health information for you to be able to do that. So go ahead and enter that information. If you're tracking your fitness and health data, I'm just going to hit continue here. And then our route, as you can see, you can enable your workout route if you like to do uh, tracking of that. Again, personal preference. I'll just hit continue here. Noise. So if you want your basically Apple Watch microphone can measure levels of sound without recording. Uh, it can notify if you want that. I'll just hit as default. Next things for safety. There's a couple of features, things like emergency SOS, fall detection, crash detection, siren, and backtrack, which is going to continue here. It just tells you what those services Apple provides with your Apple Watch, which is, again, pretty cool, especially the fall and the crash detection siren as well. As you can see here, all of those are available. And hit continue. As you can see, it's setting that up. So it's loading. You can see it right here. And the process is still going for us. All right, so Apple Pay, if you want to set that up, you can use whatever is on your phone. So you can do that. You can hit continue. And then you can add the card or you can manually add it. For our case, I'm just going to skip this step, but do that if you're going to be using the NFC reader for your Apple Pay. So I'm going to do that later. Now, action button. So what do you want to do on the action button, which is this side button here? So what you like that to do so you can select the options here workout and you can see your couple of options here flashlight and you can always come back and later in the settings i'm just going to hit continue here as the default now the apple watch ultra has this um depth app that can automatically open underwater measure temperature time and depth if you like that you can open that or automatically so if you're underwater it will automatically do that for you and you can hit OK, or if you don't want to open it automatically, you can select not. I'm just going to hit as is. Uh, diving, uh, safety, there's some safety information here, so I'm just going to hit continue. Now, always on feature, which is a feature of the Ultra Watch, so you can have that on default. We can hit continue. And then, how you like the app view, if you like the grid versus the list, again, personal preference, I just leave it as is, but you want to select that. And now the syncing is happening with our Apple Watch. And as you can see here, it's going to take a moment or so for the sync to happen. You can click on Get to Know Your Watch while well, that process is happening. But we're pretty much coming towards the end of the setup process for our Apple Watch Ultra here. As you can see here, it's just going through it, the process. Uh, and it will pretty much give you a notification when it's done if you like to do other stuff and you can use your phone that happens generally this in my experience it takes about maybe a minute or two maybe a little longer all depends on how much syncing is happening between your iphone and the apple watch here so you can watch this bar as the syncing is happening you can get to know your watch by clicking on that and you can understand some of the things available in your watch here as a user guide but we'll be creating a lot more content on the Apple Watch if you have an Apple Watch so that you can pretty much uh, really get the best out of your Apple Watch usage all right so it took a little bit a few more minutes and then finally we're all set up and to go to go where it says welcome to Apple Watch okay and you're pretty much set up and good to go you can pretty much browse around click on that crown here enter your pass code that you set up and as you can see here you can look at all that stuff and it's set up with your Apple Apple Watch with your iPhone so that's how you set it up and ready to go I hope this uh, video was helpful if so please make sure the like and subscribe button and we're going to be doing a lot more tips and tricks for your iPhone and Apple Watch and other Apple products if you did you have so if you hadn't hit that subscribe button please do so thanks for watching guys see you guys next time